There are many things that people have wished for over the years, guys. An end to conflict, world peace, an end to hunger within the world. But truly, the most wished for thing in the world must be for the restoration of the Roman Empire. And that is what we are going to be doing today, guys. In Imperator Rome, uh, Imperator Invictus, we are going to be doing a series where we restore the historical borders of the Roman Empire. So let's get into it. And of course, if you are down for restoring the Roman Empire, I mean, who isn't? Then uh, make sure you do like and subscribe, guys. That would be fantastic. Here we are. We are starting Senatus Populusque Romanus. For over 20 years, the nascent Roman Repu Republic has fought a harsh campaign against the Samnite people to the south. Although victory often seemed far from grasp, the war ended in Rome's favour, resulting in the liberation of the important Greek city of Neapolis. The Samnites, however, having retreated to lick their wounds, are far from defeated. In the north, the Etruscan people eye the expansion of the Republic with apprehension. To the south, myriad Greek city-states plot behind one another's backs, all the while appealing to their benefactors in Greece for aid. On the far-flung island of Sicily, the foreign invasion of the mysterious Carthaginian Empire threatens to upset the precarious balance of power in the region. Will Rome rise victorious or fall to internal strife and barbaric halls? No, of course we're not going to be doing that for the Republic. Let's go. So first things first, let's get our mission Roman Italia here. And we're not going to do the Pan-Italian Congress to start with. Let's go with Encourage Expansion. That is going to get going straight away. Very nice. In terms of our ideas, guys, we have two military ideas and we are actually going to go for the shipbuilding cost. And I'll show you why in a second. And we're also going to go for the morale. In terms of the this idea we are going to go for the corruption that is going to be very helpful with administering our regions going forward and we are instantly going to change across to pluto from meta matuta first of all because it's hellenic and we are going to turn hellenic when we complete our first lot of missions and second of all we might as well get it out of the way we're still gaining a lot of stability so it should be fine for us doing that straight away and let's go for the um, omen of venus that's going to give us some national citizen output which is very good for us at the start of the game so in terms of our advances guys we are going to go for as much discipline as possible straight away because, uh, of course, discipline is fantastic. We need discipline. So we're going to get a load of discipline there. We're also going to get professional training. And then with the last two, we are going to get a little bit of siege ability, uh, which is definitely going to help us out. So we get 5% there, or we get fort defense. Let's go for the siege ladders. So this is the reason why we took the reduction in cost for ships, guys. We are going to build quite a few ships to start with. Probably... At least 10 more, just because Etruria has a decent fleet and we want to be able to get across to here when we go to war with them. Last thing we're going to do, guys, is make sure that we start improving our relationship with all of our little subjects. That is going to allow us to integrate them as soon as possible. And let's press play and let's get some claims on our neighbors and hopefully we'll be able to attack someone straight away. And of course, attack is the best form of defense unless we're fighting Hannibal, of course. And this is the one we have been looking for, guys. Sabinia will be erased from history. That is exactly what we want to start with. So we are going to raise all our levies and get ready to march on them. And they are also... Um, they're also allied to Etruria, which is absolutely fantastic. That's exactly what we want to see. Uh, it's a little bit annoying that they have allied Pycentia as well, but hopefully all our little um, vassals will take care of them. So let's get going, guys. And here we go straight into Etruria. We have less troops, but hopefully we shall win with our superior discipline. Let's go. There we go. Looks like we are going to win that. That is fine. Unfortunately, though, we did lose over here. That's okay. We will get some mercenaries at some point just to preserve our manpower. So um, let's just save up a little bit of cash and then we'll get some. And as you can see, guys, Etruria has a monstrous 48 size fleet, which is um, rather annoying, I've got to say. But um, hopefully we can sneak past them. <laughs> so we are going to try and sneak past their fleet and drop off some troops over here. It's very important, guys, that you try and take Corsica as early as possible because you see all this land here is uncolonized so if you want to do some of your missions further down the line you need to colonize these as quick as possible and our fleet did get caught but it's okay i'm not too bothered about that we'll just retreat out of it if we can there we go and finally we have taken the etrurian fortress so 
Let's get uh, into them here. We should be able to beat this. They might be able to reinforce it, but not if they are getting distracted by other things. Let's click off that. We've absolutely destroying them. Fantastic. Well, as you can see, the issue now, guys, is we don't have much manpower. We have basically used it all up. Um, so we're going to try and get Pisentia out of the war to start with. We're also going to get some mercs. Um, I think we'll go for the 8k. I don't think we need much more than that. It's going to cost us 6 and now Umbria is involved in this war as well. So we are going to try and get all of those guys out as quick as possible. And then we can focus on Etruria. So um, let's go for that. I think if we can get there, that would be fantastic. There is a lot of troops around there though. So maybe we don't want to do something that drastic. Well, here's a massive battle, guys. Let's hope we win it. Looks like we are going to. Fantastic. We'll knock the Etrurians back. And there we go. We can peace out Pisentia. So let's do that one by one. We're going to banish everyone as well. Well, there goes Umbria, guys. So that should leave us in a bit of a better situation. We have been pretty unlucky with the RNG there. Not normally. You just have to fight Sabinia and Etruria. So we have had to take on a little bit of a larger coalition than we normally would. But that's okay. We can, uh, we can handle it. And uh, yeah, let's keep on going. God, man. Why are the allies so fucking dumb? Come on. <laughs> Like, literally, there was a battle right next to us here, and they just decided to chase this group of 800 troops rather than helping out. Come on, man. Like, don't run away! Come on! Fight, you fools! Right, we need a bit of money, so let's uh, sack a few cities. Classic Roman style. Well then, guys, that is it all. That did take a massive toll on our manpower reserves, but when we get our next set of um, technologies, what we can do is come across to Oratory here and go Triumphal Coins. That's going to give us 5,000. Um, so let's uh, let's sort our peace deal out. We're going to piece them out separately. We're going to take everything off Etruria if we can. There we go. Fantastic. Banish those guys. Get rid of some of that aggressive expansion. And then we're going to take Sabinia as well. So let's, uh, let's go through some of these missions. We've got to end the Etruscans, and we're going to take whatever is the highest amount. Vutilonia, it looks like. Oh, no, Populonium. Let's go with that. That's eight people in that Colonia. Over here, we might do something different. We could build a city in Ascalum, which would be very nice for us. But six pops in Iguvium is actually really good. Or Firm and Percentum. So, yeah, let's go Firm and Percentum. And look at that, guys. We have expanded quite a bit now, which is very nice. Let's kill a pig. And we're also going to fabricate on a claim up there. Um, we might look to start fabricating a claim down here. But I think we've got one on Lucania. So that might be the next option for us. But as long as we can get to it, though. Although we are only a year away from our truce with Samnium being up. And now that we have a bit more land, guys, we are going to start setting up everything correctly. I mean, we don't need as many forts as this, especially like two back to back here. So let's delete that one. We're probably okay for this one. We don't really need that. Um, I'm tempted to keep that one there for now, but we are blocked in the north, so we don't need to be spending money on that. I'm fine with the one by Neapolis. Eventually, we will get rid of the one at Vey, uh, but let's see what we need for some of our missions later down the line. We're also going to be setting all of our provinces to cultural assimilation, not religious conversion, guys. Don't do religious conversion early game, because if you're going to go Hellenic with the Romans, which is the historical path, then you don't want to be converting them to Italic religion. And of course, we're not going to destroy our Italian allies, guys. We're going we're gonna to make them happy and then integrate them peacefully. I mean, that's a lot, a lot better idea, in my opinion. So, guys, finally, it has come to this. Let's go for taking Campania. Uh, they are allied with Lucania and Brutia, but um, I think we'll be able to overpower them. Shouldn't be too much of a worry. So, uh, let's get going. They actually did have 12,500 troops, guys, Samnium, which is kind of surprising, honestly. I've never seen them have that many troops, but we did still beat them, so I guess our troops are just better. I mean, we are Romans after all. Looks like Syracuse has jumped on this as well, which is a little bit annoying, but that's fine. <sighs> Bloody Syracuse. <laughs> and that's what they've done. Th uh, thank you, Syracuse. Thank you. <laughs> and for some reason, that whole war, we were not able to... Um, to sack any cities. Literally none. Literally none. <laughs> so we didn't manage to make any money from this war at all. But um, yeah, let's uh, let's sue for peace with everyone. 
and let's get out of here. Well, there we go. Only 15 aggressive expansion for that. We are going to imprison the leaders as well so we can get some money. Uh, crush the Samnites there as well. And we can probably, I'd rather gain a city from this. You can see a new coastal city at Salernum gives us four pops, which is the same as the other places that we could um, we could get this, that are already cities, but we get a free city from it. So that is just perfect. Let's go for that. And in Lucania, the largest amount of pops we can get is actually forming a city. So fantastic. Let's now approach the Greeks. Many of them will say, no, guys, I'm not going to spend any money on the Greeks. Of course, we're not spending money on the Greeks. <laughs> but um, hopefully some of them might become our vassals. And now we can get our first military tradition, guys. We are going to go for the siege ability. That's so useful early game, guys. Incredibly useful. It's also going to allow us to get uh, free six innovations as well, which is pretty insane. Right, on to the next war for the rest of Apulia, guys. These guys are actually allied to Taulantia, which is an Illyrian tribe. But they have destroyed the... Um, um, the Epirotes already, so, um, poor Pyrrhus already is <laughs> sort of dead. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we will try and nab some land for them, because they're in a, in a revolt, and we will already have Epirus, guys, which will be a very nice little, um, jewel in our crown. None of these guys want to join anymore. I mean, that's fine by me. And this war is going to be fought just by our mercenary company to start with, guys. If things go bad, then we will get some of the other guys in there, but we don't really need... Um, much more than this little mercenary company. Now, let's let our manpower recover for a little while. And now we can start integrating some of our subjects. Some of them are still not very happy with us at all because of our bellicose stance. So we might have to change that and our aggressive expansion. Um, but I don't see that going down anytime soon, I'm not going to lie. And now we have a claim on all of Epirus and Illyria Gratia. That is fantastic. So we can actually fill the Temple of Livinium. So let's go for Popper Simulation Speed. That is amazing. Um, and Integrated Culture Happiness as well. Keeping all those Romans very happy. Well, luckily, the Civil War is over. We had some problems by getting exiled and all that sort of thing. So we are going to come back across and uh, try to sort all of this out. Oh, no, it's not quite over. They're still fighting, but hopefully we can nab some land before it gets too messy. <laughs> and there go our cities, guys. Very nice indeed. Some new cities for the start of an empire. <laughs> so we have a decision about the Carthaginian revolt, my friends. And um, I think I'd rather take the military bonuses for us right now. I mean... It's only 12 months, but we do get 5,000 manpower, which is actually insane. So uh, there we go. And now we have fully occupied everything. Let's take all of Epirus as well. It's a little bit unfortunate, though. These lands, we're going to banish these guys. These lands over here have become uncolonized, which is just a bit of a nightmare for our missions when we want to take Illyria. On to destroy the Apulians here, guys, and let's see what we can get here. Can we get a good city? We can get a four from building a city, five from uh, Hydruntum, so let's go for that. And now we've got a claim on all of the territories in Greece and Macedonia, guys. That is excellent for our next few episodes. Right then, guys, on to Syracuse. That is going to be a fun little war. We're going to be able to mop up most of the rest of this area now, which is going to be fantastic. And now we can integrate all the rest of our subjects here, guys, as well, which is absolutely awesome. That's not going to take too long either, so very nice indeed. Well, this isn't too bad of a war, guys. It's not that difficult. It's just very annoying because of the amount of forts <laughs> that are in our way. <laughs> the one good thing about that, though, is once we've taken these forts, they can't get past them either, so... Just as annoying for them as it is for us. And those ships we bought earlier, guys, are definitely doing very well. They are blockading the ports here and also raiding the cities around this area, which is very good for us. On to Sicily, my friends. Let's go over all the way to Syracuse. And uh, yeah, we're in a very good spot. And now our government, we have Appius Claudius Caicus, my friends. The person whom the Appian Way is named after. And the blind, old, decrepit senator who um, fervently argued that Rome should fight the Epirotes, uh, continue fighting the Epirotes when um, the Epirote army of Pyrrhus got all the way to about 60 kilometers from Rome. And all the senators were panicking. Appius Claudius Caicus was carried in a litter to uh, to the Senate and argued fervently. By the end of his arguments, 
He was blind and really old at the time, but by the end of his arguments, the senators voted unanimously to continue the war, which they did, and would eventually, of course, win. I feel almost bad for uh, Syracuse now. They're getting absolutely, like, destroyed. <laughs> Go on, boys. Get rid of the Greeks. Come on, let's go. Oh, please don't take that out of context. God damn it. <laughs> well, there we go. 100% war score, my friends. So we are going to take everything that we can. The only issue is it might be over 100. Yeah. Let's piece them out separately. That should really help. And there we go, guys. Full annexation. We are going to maintain Syracuse as an essential part of Rome uh, because it is a great city and it's going to be very good for us going forward. We're going to banish to get rid of some of our aggressive expansion. It's just tipped over 50, but we are not stopped with war, my friends. Let's go north. Let's get this mission in here as well and we'll get six pops from Thurii. Fantastic. And we actually got this event a little bit early, guys. So normally, I'm sure you normally get it when you complete this mission tree but obviously i must be wrong so we are going to embrace the hellenic ways and that is why we didn't do the um didn't do the pop conversion before as well and now a lot of our pops if we click on rome for example you can see 86 percent hellenic now fantastic but that also means we are going to have to go through all of these changing them over to religious conversion okay a couple down here already are on religious conversion but uh, i'm just going to save up a bit more influence first and then we can do that like this one for example already is 95 percent hellenic so we are going to just change it back across this is also very much hellenic but we'll just try and convert the last few remnants of italic religion in a lot of these right then into the northern gauls my friends let's go in subria is part of this coalition they're going to be a little bit annoying to fight but um we should be okay so now we finally got another innovation guys we are going to go down towards open religion to get the great temple building and once we've done that we'll go for gradual economic integration which will unlock the grand theater building which should assimilate our pops a whole lot quicker once that is done then we are going to go towards Petition of the Minorities, which gives a minus 25% found city cost, which is just insane. That is going to be so good when we get into the lands of the Gauls, all that sort of thing that don't have much cities. So we have been pushed back a little bit uh, with some of our guys, so that's a little bit of a shame, but it's okay. Um, we are still fighting on. And there's open religion, guys. That's fantastic. So we are going to then go down towards this here gradual economic integration and you might notice we have so little political influence guys and i need it to change all the governor policies but we just keep getting terrible events that it's like minus 80 influence for these events so um <laughs> please r and jesus please and of course they've got barbarians right in the middle of this war Thanks, barbarians. <laughs> and there we go. A little bit of a tougher war than it probably should have been. But um, hopefully we can take all of this. And there we go. Full war score, guys. 51 aggressive expansion for this, though. Woo! Hmm. That's quite a lot. <laughs> so we only actually need up to Rav uh, Ravna here, or Ravenna, I believe it will become called. So, we're not going to take everything because that is too much aggressive expansion, even even for us. <laughs> even for us. I mean, I'm willing to take 16. It was this land up here that was quite a lot. 25. Is, is it this? No, that's only 26. So why is it so much for this place here? Oh, well. I don't know. It's, it's a lot. <laughs> what about that? Could we do that? 38. No, I, I doubt it. Let's just go... Um, Let's just take all the way up to here, and we should be okay. Like, 27. I'm happy to take 27 right now. And there we go. We get drive out of the Gauls. This should be f uh, building a city. And I think we'll go for Ravenna because it's on the coast. Now let's go for Italia Colonia. Very, very good. All Roman Colonia will receive the following additional effects. Local manpower, cohort, recruit speed. That's okay. Not amazing for me. Uh, local city build slots plus one and local tax. That's actually really good. Um, commerce value and slaves. And then we have popper simulation speed and primary culture happiness. Now, 
for the longevity, like this one seems amazing. That is very good long term as well. But for the longevity of our campaign, for assimilating people when we get out to Gaul and all that sort of thing, this one, in my opinion, is the best. It could go maybe military, but um, yeah, I think uh, their purpose will be to Romanize the locals. That is fantastic. So now we can go for either Italic Citizenship here, which Rome gets Pan-Italian Italic Citizenship, 12% integrated culture happiness, minus, uh, sorry, unintegrated culture happiness, minus 15% integrated, and integration speed of vassals plus 0.1, which is just pointless. But you lose 30 stability, and that would take us down to 1. So, of course, we're not going to do that. We're going to go for this one here, Roman hegemony. Just better option, in my opinion. Well, we definitely do need to chill now, guys. We have 70 aggressive expansion. So, uh, let's disband all of these guys. We're also going to get rid of our mercenaries now. Finally, they did a very good job for us. And these mercenaries did do a very good job, didn't they, guys? Patchy's mercenaries. Very, very, very good job. But we are going to get rid of them. And now let's sit tight for a little while, guys, and let our aggressive expansion burn down. We have unified everything by 285 BC, 469. Not as fast as I normally do it, but that is mainly because that first war against the Etrus Etruscans, we got some bad RNG with that having to fight everyone all at once. And there we go, guys. We're going to lose another 10 stability, which is not good. It's not the worst stability I've ever had as Rome, um, so it shouldn't be too bad, but we really do need to to, to burn some of this aggressive expansion. So we are going to take Jupiter next time. And there we go, guys. We have cleaned up the forts in our lands as well. Basically reduced them down to nothing. We might have to build some further down the line. But at the moment, yeah, we don't really need them. It's a risky strategy if you want to do this, guys. Because say you fight Carthage, if they land on um, Rome. That's why I kept the fort in Rome. They can do a lot of damage to you. But yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it's going to help our economy in the in the uh, short to medium term. Let's uh, finish these missions off then, guys. There we go. And I am going to let you guys vote down in the comments below which one you think is the best one to go for. We can go for the first Provincia, which means that we have to colonize all of Corsica. So I probably wouldn't go for that one because it's going to take forever to colonize this, like a long, long time. Um, and also take the rest of Sicily and take Sardinia as well. We can go for Cisalpine Gaul, which is in the north. We can go for the matter of Macedonia, which is fighting Antigonid Kingdom and Macedon. Or we can go for subduing Greece and the Pearl of Italia, which is just developing Italy. So that's not an option. But subduing Greece, my thoughts would be to go for subduing Greece. But uh, let me know what you think down in the comments below. So in some of our northern cities, guys, we are going to build the Great Temple up here. That is going to allow religious conversion a lot quicker. We do have a lot of money, so I am happy to do this right now. There we go. And maybe even in Etruscia um, as well when we get the rest of the cash. I am not changing out the governor policies just yet. We definitely need to uh, to make some bacon first <laughs> because our stability is crumbling, uh, but it, it shouldn't be too bad for too long. Oh, and we can get another three innovations and Siege Engineers plus one, which is amazing. So that's going to take us down towards gradual economic integration. Um, we're already at maximum manpower, so let's not take the manpower just now. Let's take Defending Liberty as well, which is aggressive impact. We're also... Uh, burning that off a lot quicker and we took minus 10 there didn't we did we take oh did we take well i guess we just took it anyway so that's pretty good it doesn't really matter about that one at all but then gradual economic integration and we need to get our research efficiency back up at some point so we're going to build a few more libraries and finally we are making stability again guys <laughs> come on just at the lowly levels of 22 <laughs> Well, now we've got some influence in the bank, guys. We are going to go around and make sure we are on the right governor policies over here. If we have a look at uh, Patavium over here, with the um, Great Temple in here, you can see the, um, the conversion to Hellenic from Italic or Druidic is massive, 2.74%, guys. So that is really, really valuable for us. That's going to make our populations a lot happier reduce this um, provincial loyalty negative, make it go more positive, especially in the larger population centers 
in this province here. So that is going to be very, very useful. We're going to try and get a few more out there in some of these provinces with not much Hellenic. And then when we get um, the uh, Grand Theatre, we're going to get that because that's plus two pop assimilation speed as well. Right, guys. Well, there we are. We have unified most of Italy now, which is fantastic. We have set out uh, on our missions to do what needs to be done. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you did enjoy this first episode. Please do like and subscribe, especially on the first episode. It really does help the channel out. And let me know where you would like me to go next. Like I say, my preference would be subduing Greece, but uh, let me know what you guys think anyway. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Let's restore the Roman Empire, and I'll see you all again on the next video.